how can I pull the audio from a video I've already recorded so that I can use it in my podcast? Hello, friend. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads. I'm a musician, a student of the creative universe, and a curious girl full of questions. I even have some answers. I'm also the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. That means that I get to partner with the creatives, the doers, and the makers of this world to put them in the ears, heads, and hearts of new audiences with podcasts and all sorts of other audio goodness. If you've got podcasting questions that have not been covered in this 30-day series of Brass Tax Podcasting Wisdom, email me at jen, J-E-N, at brassybroad.com. Repurposing content and making it available on multiple platforms makes your life easier and provides great value to your audience. People consume their content in a variety of ways, so make sure that your stuff is available on their preferred platform. It's easy to do, and they will love you forever. There are some people that can sit and watch YouTube videos for hours. If I had more hours in my day, I would binge on TED Talks. I always feel smarter and inspired after watching them. But I don't have that luxury of time right now because I'm making podcasts and tutorial videos. So thank goodness I can listen to TED Talks while I walk the dog. I don't have to be sitting in front of my laptop to consume the content. I can take TED with me. This episode is actually inspired by a question I received from one of my clients this week. He needed to pull the audio from a video he made so that he could repurpose it for his podcast. And there are a couple of ways that you can do this. And fortunately, they are relatively simple. For my Mac user friends, you can do this in GarageBand. So you open up a new project in GarageBand, import the video file, then export the project as audio only. And if you're more of a QuickTime fan, you can use QuickTime Movie Player. QuickTime Movie Player is an option for both Mac and PC users. All you do is open up QuickTime, then open up your movie file, then go to the File Menu dropdown, select Export and Audio Only. That's it. Those are two easy ways to repurpose content that you've already created. Don't work harder, friends. I've created tutorials to walk you step-by-step through the process using both GarageBand and QuickTime, and you can find them both on my YouTube channel, Jen Eads Brassy. If you found even the teeniest, tiniest, smallest little nugget of wisdom in this episode, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? I'm going to ask you to share it with a friend that needs to hear it. Don't be stingy. They're going to think you're so cool for sharing it. Because I love it when I get a random text from a friend and they're like, oh my gosh, Jen, you have got to listen to this show. That's how I discover new shows. I'm not looking in iTunes rankings. Instagram is my jam. You can connect with me there and get all the behind the scenes of my podcasting and musical adventures. And you might even see some pictures of the dog and cat. For my podcasting tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find me there at Jen Eads Brassy. Thanks for listening. Now you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Get out in the world and do some good.